What's in store for game two tonight? Hi, everybody. I'm James Sabalski for EA Sports. Both teams feeling themselves out in game one. Here we go. They're back at it again. We are just seconds away now from puck drop. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. And he takes the feed. And he gets in the lane to block that. Moves it to Malone. Right up the cut into the offensive end. Into the corner of the attacking area. And that's broken up. A shot. And that goes off a body. And he takes the feed. Toledo's got the puck against the half wall. Moves it quickly over to Pino. And play rolls on as he came up with a nice stop there. Goaltender is very aware. They score! And this end up crowd has already turned it up a notch after that strike. Anytime you're sitting in the dressing room pregame, you know what everyone's talking about is getting a great start. And it's all around the room, and they do just that, and they elevate this crowd. The energy in here is exciting. enjoyed a home-cooked pre-game meal because they are buzzing to start this one. They are just electric with that goal. Everyone on the bench is standing up. They provided an energy for this team early in the game. Now they need to build off it and keep pressing. Sends a pass over. Kent grabs the puck inside his own territory. Indy's looking to break out. Handles it over to Limos. body language says it all he is frustrated and anytime you're on a team you want to contribute especially what you can do you're a confident player but all of a sudden the stick gets a little bit tighter habits are a great thing numbers are another puck scooped up by Prepovesis across the line along the left wall and uses the length of a stick to knock that puck away Weeks makes the save and hangs on for a stoppage of play Lots of time left in this period. Toledo's ahead, 1-0. Off the draw, they take possession. McTubal's moving the puck through his own zone. Indy's got it against the boards. And the puck's knocked loose. They fight for it along the boards. Here's the whistle as the play was offside. And they win that neutral zone draw. Indy's looking to break out of their own end. Looking for space inside the D zone. Shot! Play is whistled dead as the puck goes up and over. Indy's won the draw. And now it's grabbed by Baker. Oh, and gives up the body as he lays out for the block. What a selfless play. Takes a shot. Oh, he's so good. Oh, my goodness, what a stop. Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. Indy's playing it through the neutral zone. The Walleye have gained possession off the wall. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Quick feed to McCourt. Oh, he hit him and got all of it. Oh, that's a tough one, Ginger. Along the boards, they don't have a lot of give. What that means, you're feeling it all. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender, getting a piece of that one. Toledo's got the puck in the defensive end. Here they come on the attack down the left side. Quick feed down low. Picked up along the wall by the court. And then carries off a stick. Slides it across to Martin. Indy's got the puck along the wall. The walleye have possession along the boards. And he takes the pass. Takes it into the slot. Hits the post. Toledo's lead will not 
change. Sometimes you do all the hard work to get to the right spots on the ice, but you don't have any puck luck, and that was evident there as it hit the post and out. Malone's got the puck. Quick pass to Martin. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Nice zone entry on the left side. Shot! And that goes off the glove. Play continues here. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. He owns falling to the ice, James, and he still has the capacity and the wherewithal to understand exactly where everyone is on the ice. I mean, that's an effective distributor to be able to get that pass off. Handles it along the blue line. And that's deflected off someone in front. In close! Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it, makes a save. And he makes that save as well. They just keep coming in waves here in the offensive end. Oh, that is some high contact. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Kovalesis. And he gets a glove on it to keep it at bay. We know the goaltender was set to this position, square to the shooter, to be able to make that glove save. Toledo's up here in the first, and they could easily be up by more based on what they've done offensively. Indies won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Makes it look easy with the stop. Into the offensive zone. The fuel have the puck in their own end. petroselli has got it into offensive territory. Dolan with the stop. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. More than half the frame has been played here. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Petroselli's won the draw and they're on the attack. And he was ready for that one. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Sanchuk's won it off the faceoff. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Stopped by the goaltender. Fires one on goal. And does it again. In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Indy's got it now. And a quick save on that one. I really like this save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Anderson's got the puck in his own zone. Battling for it along the boards. Along the half wall with the puck. And it's a quick pass to Limos. That goes off a twig. Here's a shot. And that's a turn. Oh, the save of the play. What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James. And the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. And as play continues, listen to these fans. They're starting to get loud and recognizing what we saw not long ago here, Cheryl. Yeah, James, I mean, they're continuing to acknowledge the save he made earlier because they know the temperature of this game. And hey, the fans are now in it. They're all on board, and guess what? The goaltender knows it. Man advantage takes to the ice. It's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. Trying to get it down the ice. Puck sails out of the bench, sending a few people ducking. Another face-off looming here on this power play. Offense is on face-off, and he wins the draw. Stop that one. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Weeks hangs on to the puck to stop the play. Langside still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. 
Indy's got the win off that draw. We got a whistle as the puck sails into the bench. Here in the late goings of the period, Toledo's up one zip. Keenan's won the draw, and they'll look to set up. Reaches out and uses the stick. And a successful clearing attempt. Looking to break out here on the power play. Handles the pass. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. And he takes the ditch. Scores! There it is! A power play goal! Well, your special team coaches are constantly telling you on a power play that you need to take advantage. And the way that you do that is to take away the eyes of the goaltender. A ton of net front presence here. And that's the reason the seeing eye shot finds its way to the back of the net. Toledo's doubled up on their lead here in the late stages of the first, and that's got to be a real backbreaker at the other end of the ice here. Especially to make it a two-goal deficit at the end of the first period, James. I mean, this carries all the momentum with you into the intermission. Just got to find a way to continue that pace, continue that energy to start the second. And he was right there to make the stop on that play. McGrath's been lighting the lamp with this point streak, playing so confident. He knows where he is on the ice, and it just seems that every time it makes its way towards the net, the puck's going in. Toledo's been playing in one direction all night, and that's towards the net, and they lead here late in the first. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. The Walleye have taken possession in their own end. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Sends it across the ice. Into the offensive end now. Rips it along the wall. Oh, makes the save. That was a rocket. Pittner's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Getting into the later stages of this period, Toledo's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Scoops up the puck off the draw. Can't keep a hold of it. Dished on over to Peraldo. Shot, and he turned that one aside. There's another stop. I'm not sure where the defense is, but I'll tell you what, the goaltender has been outstanding, made a flurry of saves to keep his team in this one. And that's blocked. And it's kicked away. And they go back on the attack in the offensive zone. Taken by Pilon. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Takes a shot. Oh, what a glove save there. He read that perfectly. What a save from point blank range. I mean, he's in fabulous position, square to the shooter in the slot, and he makes the glove hand save. Scores! Well, the big glove save doesn't work here, James, and it finds the back of the cage. But when there's a lot of net front presence in traffic and you're trying to fight through the screen, sometimes you just got to drop into the butterfly and hope for the best. Centers are set, face off, ready to resume play. Toledo's won the draw. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Fans are urging for a shot on goal in the dying seconds. There's the buzzer. 20 minutes in the books. Second period just around the corner. Just a reminder to always keep your eye on the puck. It can enter the seating area and cause serious injury. We are about ready to get underway here for the second period. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Indy's behind in this game, James, because they simply haven't had the puck. They got to do a better job of closing on it and holding it when they get it. Into the offensive zone now on the attack. Great reach with the poke chip. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. Nice zone entry from the middle. Fires it on net. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Great hits up play with the stick by Barogo. 
Here's a short pass to Martin. And that doesn't reach the net. Moves it to Pilo. Gaining momentum up along the side. Takes the shot. Oh, a clutch save! And there's another stop! Ah, beauty save back there. He's really owning his crease. Toledo's been rewarded for putting pucks on net here early in the second. Keenan's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Quick shot! Oh, he got all of that! What a save by Weeks! Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Toledo's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Looming as both centers get into position. Toledo's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Shuts him down. Takes the pass. The duel have taken possession along the wall. Indy's got it in the wrong zone. Scrum along the boards. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Some good footwork to kick it away. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Moves it quickly over to Lang. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Feeds it on over to Keenan. Steps into the offensive end. Quick feed to the court. Blocked in traffic. And he sacrifices his body to block the shot. Puck picked up by McCourt. Great defensive effort with the stick. Great save by Weeks. They are really pouring on the pressure here. That misses the net. Oh, big hit on the play. And they skated out of the danger zone. Drives to the crease. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Baraldo's got it along the boards. Indy's got a hold of the puck now. And now he moves it quickly to Bolmer. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They got numbers. Scores! What a shot! speed on this counter attack and gave themselves an odd man advantage here James and what they did was they capitalized they had multiple looks they could pass it they could shoot it goaltender couldn't figure it out and it winds up in the back of the net the walleye have been humming all night and look at this they're now up by two in the second they've been skating they've been retrieving pucks and they've had possession it's a reason why they've gotten so many to the net and they've executed you have to figure if I was analytics I'd be saying they're gonna get some more Good reach and a stick to knock the puck away. Barraldo's got control of it now behind the cage. Prepovesis works the puck in his own zone. Quick pass to Pilo. Oh, he'd like to have that one back as it goes off the side. Limos setting up against the wall. Sends the pass in front. He scores! Oh, these goals are real deflators for the entire team. James thought he had a piece of it, and it just dribbles into the back of the net. He wants that one back. Indy's ability to finally light the lamp has made this a new game. It wasn't at the start they were looking for, but it's not about the past. It's not about the future. It's about the present right now, and they're within one, and they got to find a way to make that next shift count. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. Toledo's got the puck. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. 
Receives the pass. Dismiss that chance. Well, we know he's got a great glove hand, and man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. Still lots of time left in the period. Indy's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. And they win the draw on their own end. Now a quick pass to Cameron. Slick feed. Fires it! Oh, great blocker stopped by Bednar. Here's a pass down low. Puck battle along the boards. With possession along the wall. Takes the feed. Trying to escape the pressure. Good use of the body on the play. You can really sense the nervous energy. Stars! And that's his first career playoff goal, and he'll take it. Uh, he will, James, because the playoffs is just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player. You want to make a difference, and he does tonight. Well, that puck is on and off his stick in a hurry, and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast. Here in the back half of this period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game from the neutral zone now. Martin's got it along the wing. Great pressure with the stick. The walleye have it in their own zone. Genovi's taking it from his own end. Sends the pass over. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Off a stick. Hadfield's got it in the defensive end. He carries the puck up along the wing. And now it's grabbed by Hadfield. My goodness, what a save by Pinnar. Denies him again. And the puck's kicked free. Here's a short pass to Martin. Takes the puck. Lemos will play it to the corner. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. My goodness, look at this. The pressure is really starting to cook. And they'll skate it out of the zone. Quick shot. Blocked in front. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. Pass it up ahead. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. He was locked in there. Big touch. Oh, my goodness. Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Goaltender, they have to have talent, they have to have mobility, they have to be able to track the puck, but they have to have a willingness to find it and fight for any second shot, and that's exactly what happens here. Out battling, out willing, and you make the save. See if we can pick up some momentum again here as a face-off is ready to go. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. The bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Cairns takes it into the offensive zone. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Oh, oh on the play! Wow! Oh, that's Grand Larson, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. Play continues here, but this crowd's still buzzing after what we saw. What a stop that was. Oh, uh, yeah, and they're saying thank you to the goaltender right now. James, they're still on their feet. They're electric right now. And really, it's a nice feeling. Why? Because it doesn't always go this way. So when you have it, you embrace it. Geraldo's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Grabbed along the board by Pilon. Right in front with the shot. Turns it away. Oh, there's the ball. Weeks has been great tonight, James. I mean, he's been under siege, really peppered in his own zone, but he's finding the puck. He's out battling his opponent, and it's a reason it's a tight game. Hadfield's got the puck from the back end. Gains the zone from the right. Toledo's got the puck against the boards. Let's it go! Stopped by the goaltender. Moves it to Bowler. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. Indy's looking to break out. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Tries to feed it over to Hatfield. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. 
Here we go. Goaltenders at the bench. They've got the extra tackle out with the delayed penalty. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. Well, it's not the timing to take this penalty, James. Late in the frame and a close game at that. But they just got to get to the intermission and then they can reset. Well, I really like them working off the 1-3-1 one, one sequence that they were successful on earlier, James. It really is up the ice. So you're using and stretching the entire zone. And listen, there's a lot of ice for the defense to cover. So you can look to the flanks, you can look to the bumper, but a lot of options off of it. Takes it across the blue line. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. Quick feed down low. Beautiful read in the defensive end by McCourt. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Right through center and into the offensive zone. Cuts into the paint. Moves it quickly over to Keenan. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. Keenan's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Muffs the shot attempt. And that'll bring an end to the second period of play. Let's get a clean sheet of ice and come back with the third period next. Drop the puck here in period number three. Toledo's going the opening face off as their power play continues. Here's a pass in front. Another pass. Can't connect the play. Here's a shot. And that carries off a body in traffic. Oh, the poke check. What a read by the goaltender. Malone swinging the puck through center ice. There's the whistle. We got an offside. Lots of time left in this period. We got a tie game. And off the draw, they win the faceoff. Scooped up along the wall by Martin. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Way too much congestion blocks that. Prepovesis gains the line and into the offensive zone. Scores! The Trending to happen, James. They've been closing on the puck for the sends an upward trajectory as this game's progressed and they find the back of the net. Well, this is just a fabulous shot. When you're in that high slot area, you know that you're going to be closed upon quickly, so you got to have a quick release. That's the first thing. And the second thing is the accuracy. If it's quick and it's on, you're going to score. Toledo's been locked up in a dog fight all evening long, but look at this. They pushed through and found that go-ahead goal here in period number three. Well, I think they continue the scrappy dog fight. Don't get in the mindset to sit back. If you sit back and you allow entry into your zone, guess what? You're playing defense. Get on the hunt. Get on the prowl. Stay on the puck and you'll win this game. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Quick feed to Santazzo. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Toledo's put a lot of shots on net here, and they lead it as a result early in this third period. Keenan's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Handles the puck. Oh, and he lays out to block that, and that alone some respect amongst his peers. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. Up by one, and you take a penalty, applying some pressure to the PK unit here as a power play as an opportunity to get the equalizer. Indies sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Power plays are a funny thing, especially when you're down by one, James. You have to act as if you are the hunter, and you have to possess that puck and attack. And puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. You're in the slot, you've got to hit the net. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. 
Indy's got a hold of it along the wall. Takes the feed. Through the neutral zone and along the boards, here they come. Gives him attack with a stick, and the referees don't like it. Hammers one. Oh, he stopped that rocket. Here comes the official's decision. Important task for the PKers ahead of them, up by one, and a real opportunity protected. Indy's salivating with a five-on-three power play. On a five-on-three, sometimes the puck movement along the outside is too slow. You have to have perfect timing with that. It can be too fast as well. If you're going to work the puck from high to low, look cross crease. That back door might be wide open. Limos will look to win possession here on the faceoff and try to continue this power play on the right note. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Seconds. Trying to clear. And that's one way to help kill off this penalty as they get the puck out, Cheryl. Well, when you're on the PK unit, you have to be able to anticipate. They do just that. They're able to retrieve the puck and fire it down the ice. Makes no mistake on the clear, James. Hard and heavy on the stick. Made the save on the play. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. And now he angles it across to Malone. Slides the puck over. Toledo's got possession while well undermanned. Puck bounces into the bench and will get a face off. Sintasso's gliding in for the face off as this penalty kill will continue. Nice job tying up his opponent. And that goes off a player. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. McDougal's going to play it against the half wall. And that's deflected. Picked up along the boards by Baker. Here's a shot. And that takes guts to get in front of that one. In all out on the breakaway. And that's broken up. Well, he thought he had a lot of time there, but the defender makes a great play, works hard to get back to position, and takes away the shot. Puck scooped up by Baker. And he takes the feed. Moves the puck. Oh, and he just puts it wide in the net. You gotta get a shot on that. Oh, off the arm. Indy's been getting closer to the net and getting better looks. That one goes off the pipe, but this game is close. They can get another one. They can get right back in it. Moves it around along the half wall. Sends it down low. Quick pass to Martin. And he slides it quickly to Cameron. Takes that pass back at the point. Here's a shot. And that's broken up. Toledo's got him along the wall. A little abandoned and crashing now. Lemos gains the zone. Centering pass. And that shot's blocked. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Toledo's clinging to this 4-3 lead. Keenan's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. And loses possession after a solid hit. Here's a short pass to Limos. The walleye have taken control of the puck. Sent into the offensive zone. Cameron's lugging the puck. Sends one up to Malone. Here's a chance. Too much congestion blocks the shot. McGrath's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Cairns moves the puck. Now he takes it over the line. Moves it to Bomer. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. This is the best part of the game. It's really tight. It's down the stretch. One mistake either way will be the difference maker. Moves it quickly over to McGrath. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Oh, these home fans have had enough. They're wondering what a call's going the opposite way here, Cheryl. You can hear the frustration right now with that third call in a row, I might add, James. I mean, this is a 
one-sided game, isn't it? Unbelievable. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. Well, in a one-goal deficit on the power play now, you have to take advantage. You have to find a way to get the coverage moving and find good scoring opportunities. Quick feed to Hillis. Denied by the goaltender. Oh, here we go. This team knows how to turn it up another gear, and they have done that here. Gets it out of his own end. Jostling for the puck, but still maintains possession. Indy's moving it along the wing. Feeds it over on the attack. Too much congestion in front. And he takes the feed. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Slides it quickly to Hillis. Sends a pass over. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible. And that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Toledo's got a one-goal lead here. They're up 4-3. Cutting to the slot. The walleye have gained control of the puck in their own zone. And there's a power play opportunity coming up here. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. Whistle blown, stopping the play. You're trailing by one, and you take the penalty. Not the way to get back in the game. Special teams. They've already scored on the power play tonight, James, and if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. The coach has got them all ready to go, fired up. They've worked endlessly on this setup. The man isn't working tonight. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Oh, and it's a fail on that clearing attempt as it's kept in. Score! There it is on the power play! The power play has been really efficient tonight, James, and they're really gaining momentum off of it. And often when you're drawing this many penalties, teams start to play different against you. There's a reason why the power play moves the puck around the perimeter and creates motion. They want to pull the PK outside of the middle of the ice. And when they do, they hit the bumper position perfectly, and they're able to hammer it home. In the final moments of this period, Toledo's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Lemos wins it. Taken by McDougal. Quick pass to Keenan. And that was big time collision, and look at that, he landed right on his own bench. Uh, you know that the one given the hit likes this, to send a message, send it right over the board into the laps of your teammates. It's embarrassing either way, no question, that you got off your feet and you wound up on your bench. Toledo's got possession at center. And he handles the cross-ice pass. The fuel of the puck in the defensive zone. On the attack along the boards. And he takes the pass. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. We got a delayed penalty coming up here as the rest hand goes up in the air. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. McCourt's stick work will land him two minutes for slashing. here on the man advantage they haven't scored yet in the game on the power play but no need to get frustrated they all bring a different skill set it's the reason why they're out there and with the centers tied up he swoops in to take possession gets in front of it Toledo's got it in their own zone great poke by Martin turn that one aside there's the whistle we'll get a face off after the goalie covers up Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. Hillis wins the offensive zone face-off, and here we go. Oh, stuck with the pad by Bednar. Sawchuk's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the face-off. 
Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Denies him on a slapper. And a solid stop on the play there. Hard hit frees up the puck. Handles the pass. James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out battle and out will his opponent to find the puck. Big face off coming up here in the offensive zone. Well, after that last shift with sustained pressure, you know that the goaltender is fatigued. You got to find ways to get pucks to the net. Lemos wins the draw. They'll look to set up here offensively. Denies that opportunity. Jocelyn for the puck and he loses control. And they clear that puck. And the power play unit comes up empty on that one. That's a great job by the PK unit, James, protecting the lead late in the game, finding a way to get it done. And that's exactly what they needed to do. Just keep it simple and stick with the lead. Fires to the empty net. Oh, and they missed the net. getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. And off the face-off, they take possession. Moves the puck along the half wall. Martin's tripped up and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. This is a frustrating situation, James. Just taking a whack load of penalties and really unable to get any momentum in this game because they're shorthanded the whole time. here in the offensive zone and time to go on the attack. Oh, that one pops up short as he just gets enough of that one. That's all she wrote from this one. You know, this is a tale of two hard teams right now, Cheryl. At one end of the ice, this is a team that has elevated their game into the postseason, and another that just doesn't seem ready for prime time right now. Well, and you got to give a lot of credit to the team that's up by two, right? I mean, they've got a two-game series lead here, and it's all because of the way they've played. They've really put their opponent on their heels. Now if they can get a three-game lead, I mean, you know, this is almost as good as over. What a night. You gotta love the intensity of the playoffs, and we will see you down the road at the next game. It's playoff time, baby. Good night from all of us here at EA Sports.